everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. Today this is the start of a few episode series about the lore behind the company Dbrand. Now Dbrand has kind of been a fascinating company for me. They sponsor a lot of YouTubers here on YouTube. Um, they have a website they sell skins and cases and a lot of different stuff for a lot of products but I've always noticed something strange about them. When I order my products, they always have like really funny, I don't know if they're being funny or not though, but like they have funny jokes in their emails, they, their boxes are like unprofessional, I guess you could say. And their website is littered with lore. Um, and yeah, my monitor decided to turn off, but um, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of lore going on in dbrand and I would like to make a video discussing what I have found within dbrand and kind of see if we can uncover what dbrand's goal actually is. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay everyone, so this beginning of me thinking of doing this video actually came from when I ordered my own thing from dbrand. Um, not that long ago, uh, for Easter weekend, as a present, my parents bought me a dbrand case for my iPhone SE, which is actually recording this video. And it came in today, and looking at the email I got when it delivered, I saw this in the footer of the email, and I'm just gonna read it to you what it says. It says, Reading an email footer from dbrand is kind of like joining a secret club, one that entitles you to learn all of the most legally questionable aspects of our business. Creative accounting tricks, plan to destroy the sun, horrific industrial accidents that have claimed the lives of countless scientists. It's all down here in, the, in this fine print that sheds the light on things that probably should have stayed in the dark. On that note, remember how we called this a secret club? Well, it's your responsibility to make sure it stays that way. If you fail to do so, just remember, we know where you live. I don't know if I should be making this video. Um, and I'm, this is, I'm hoping this is a joke and that dbrand's lore is actually not what they state but you really never know with dbrand and that's the thing about their company all of the emails are signed with the uh name a robot and it the slur can go on forever but this is essentially what sparked me to go into um look researching dbrand um this email is kind of shows that dbrand might be doing something with the sun and yes i am pretty sure that if this is not just lore um i noticed on my box the little plastic mailer that they had they had the entire side of it was just covered in text talking about matt black everything which is an mkbhd thing um but because they've teamed up with him i wonder if d brand has taken this to the next level saying they want to make everything matt black and the, their plan is according to the bag on that box and here here's the Here's what it actually says itself if you want to read through the whole thing but essentially talking about how they want to buy a laser without the money that we give them to destroy the sun okay d brand what is this about so let's go into some more information on their website so looking at the footer you can see that their copyright date is actually 4022 so this seems to change as 2020 years go on so maybe they're taking place 2000 years in the future i don't know for sure on this one and then going up to the other part robots at dbrand.com dbrand being robot seems to come up a lot on their website and business so there's something behind the robots deal so clearly there are a lot of strange things going on on dbrand's website between the fact that they have a copyright date 2000 years in the future at 4022 when as of recording this the copyright date is 2022 for most businesses um, unless you're verifying in the future which i don't actually know how businesses do that and then the fact that almost everything that they send you via email their newsletters their contact forms they never actually put a real person's name it's always robot or signed a robot including their contact form which literally says robots at dbrand.com even if you look at their tutorial videos the voice sounds like a robot take a listen if you just got your dbrand grip for the iphone se iphone 8 or iphone 7 relax this is going to be easy so there seems to be something going on with robots at dbrand and this kind of makes sense because i mean they do a lot of stuff with robots like i it looks like in some of their uh, promotional videos that their stickers are made by robots which makes sense like it's not like a human can make a decal 
that quickly and looks um, so precise. So they clearly do a lot of stuff with robots and machines. So that kind of makes sense, but this can all add to more of the lore. So that's where I'm gonna have to wrap up this video for you guys. Yes, I don't have much information yet, but I'm planning on coming out with a part two episode explaining more into the lore of Dbrand. If you have any more information about Dbrand that you'd like to share with me, please send me an email or leave something in the comments down below. I really need help planning the next episode of this because I don't know as much about Dbrand and the uh, lore of Dbrand. Um, me and my dad are the only people in my family that have bought something from DA Brand. My dad has a phone case and I have a phone case. So essentially, we are the only people that have actually had communication with anything with DA Brand. And I personally had to actually reach out to them due to a problem with my order not actually going through. There was a glitch in the order where when I placed it, I waited a week and it still said processing. So I contacted them and about two emails later, I learned that the order had never gotten past processing due to a glitch. So I had to actually contact them. And that's another part that made me want to make this video is because all the emails were signed a robot. There's actually no humans. So I'm going to continue looking more into uh, Dbrand and see what I can find. So stay tuned for a new episode coming soon. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.